The Humane Society of Sedona is located on Shelby Drive in Sedona. Open daily from 10 to 4, they offer adoptable dogs, cats, and rabbits, too. This Humane Society will host up to 1,000 animals a year. Volunteers are always needed in local rescues and animal shelters. Ask to speak with the volunteer coordinator. Visit the Humane Society of Sedona online or in person for more information about adopting a new pet. So here we have Buddy. Buddy is a year and a half year old Labrador Retriever. He's got a lot of energy, a lot of muscle. Um, he's a big love bug. He came to us originally back in June and was adopted, but he's proven to be a little bit too rambunctious for small children. So he needs to be in a household with older kids uh, or adults. He'd be great to uh, go out on hikes because, as I said, he's got plenty of energy. He does need a bit of training because he still acts like a pup and he wants to do what he wants to do, but he's really settled in. Uh, dogs probably need to be introduced. Cats, it's questionable. We don't know what his history is with cats, but um, I think once he got some training, he would really settle in and, uh, and just be loving because he's got a very, very loving uh, nature. He's just a little bit of a goofball right now because of his age and not having any training. But uh, he's, he's loving to go on his walks every day. And uh, he really is in good health and he's uh, exuberant. So we're hoping that somebody that's looking for a lovely dog to, to run around with and play, chase balls and do all that kind of stuff will come and take a look at him because he really is a sweetheart. <laughs> This is Jackson. He is an 18 month old healer. So that really makes him just really a puppy, but he is full grown. He's not going to grow anymore. He's quite a small dog, um, but he is really, really such a nice personality. I call him Mr. Personality. He's playful, he's pleasing, he likes to be loved, he likes to give love. He's just a very happy-go-lucky guy. He's lived with dogs uh, and other and kids. Uh, he may have lived with cats as well, so we don't know how he'd be with cats. I think you'd have to introduce them slowly, but he certainly gets along very well with other dogs and he's great with kids. So he's just a really um, going to make such a great addition to any sort of family. Come and check him out. <laughs> So this little tyke is named Freddy. Fred, Frederick, Happy Fred, Fast Freddy, we give him a lot of names. He's, a, you can see, a very happy, happy young Pomeranian mix. He's only about two and a half years old. And he is very active. He loves to play. He loves to go on his walks as long as he can be in front. Um, he has a lot to say to everybody on his walks. He's been kenneled with a couple of other dogs, so he has shown that he can get along as long as they know he's the boss because he is a very confident little fella. But he, uh, he loves to just uh, get a lot of exercise, run around. He, he will need to uh, have somebody that will pay him a lot of attention because he does crave attention from people. And if you don't want to give it to him, he'll make sure he, you know that you haven't been giving it to him because he, he does love to be played with. So um, if somebody is interested in a, a young, active, happy boy that will give you a lot of entertainment because he is quite the character, please come check him out because he, he is a sweetheart. And uh, he's also potty trained. We take him out first thing in the morning. He doesn't go in his kennel. So he's, uh, he's a, good, a good, good boy. He could lose a little weight. He's a little bit chunky, but um, I'm sure anybody who adopted him could take care of that. And 
He'd make you a really, really fun companion. Right, sweetheart? our wonderful Holly. She has not been with us very long. She only came to us on October 27th, but already she's one of the favorites of the shelter. She's an eight-year-old Australian Kelpie who had to be surrendered because her family couldn't keep her anymore, but she has got the sweetest, most loving disposition. She's very, very mild-mannered. Uh, she loves people. She loves attention. She's totally house trained. She's one of the first dogs we take out because she never messes in her kennel. And she's an easy, easy walk. We take her on just a leash. She doesn't have to have a harness. And she just loves to, um, to get petted and be with people. So she really would be great in a quiet, mature household. And she would just uh, love, I think, to lie down with you and be petted and, and give a lot of love and get a lot of love. So uh, she stares at the cats in the cat room, but not like she wants to attack them. So she might be okay with cats. And she seems to be very docile with other dogs, so she could be with other dogs. But as I said, I think she'd be best in like a mature household where she could just get uh, attention and she doesn't need a lot of exercise. She's, uh, she's very, very sweet and just loving and just needs to go to a, a good forever home so that she can be loved and give love. Right, Holly? After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Camp Verde Eye Care has moved, but not too far, just a few doors from where they were in the Outpost Mall. It's the same expert service from Dr. Jack Houston and his knowledgeable staff in their terrific new surroundings. Since 1976, Camp Verde Eye Care has been helping residents of the Verde Valley to see more clearly. Call for an appointment or visit them online at cv-icare.com. They're still in the Basha Shopping Center and have a beautiful new facility. Camp Verde Eye Care accepts care credit. Your local Taco Bell invites you to Live Moss. There are now three varieties of Doritos Locos Tacos at Taco Bell. Nacho Cheese, Cool Ranch, and the new Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on the corner of Highway 89A and Cove Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell. Live Moss. Well, who we have here is one of the shelter favorites. His name is Cash. He came to us in September as a stray. He's a three and a half year old Staffordshire Terrier and he is just a big, big goofball. He loves people. He gets along with other dogs. Uh, he has this female uh, staffy that he plays with, Ember, all the time, and they just love each other. They even sleep together with their arms around each other. So he's very, very good with dogs, but he would not be good with cats. He was adopted by someone who had cats, and they learned very quickly that cats and him are not meant to be. So he was brought back. So he shouldn't be in a home with cats, but other dogs would work out fine. Children would work out fine. He's been child tested with pulling ears and tails and everything, and he has no reaction. Um, he just loves to play, loves to chase balls, loves to run around. Um, we laugh because when he's going back into his kennel, he makes it sound like a javelina pig almost. He's just, uh, he's just a real fun, fun dog to have and would give a lot of enjoyment to a family, I think. Um, 
if you just come and check him out. Uh, he's a bit of a, of a puller on his walk. He can walk nice, but if he sees something he wants, he wants to go for it, and he's, he's kind of strong, so we have him on a harness. But he is, uh, he's just a love. We just love playing with him, and, and uh, he's one of the favorites of the volunteers to walk every day because he's such a good boy. So please come check him out. Thank you. <laughs> here is Marenzi and she's quite something. She's only 10 months old. She came to us on September 23rd because her elderly owner could not keep her anymore. She was a little bit too active for him and she is a Labrador Retriever, female Labrador Retriever mix. She's got a lot of personality and a lot of energy because she is only 10 months old. She loves to play ball. I mean she'll return the ball to you, drop it for you to throw it again. She ha needs a lot of exercise because she is that young. She has lived with other dogs and cats and kids and adults, and she's just very social. Uh, but she's going to require a lot of exercise because of her breed and her age. And um, she is uh, quite an interesting walk. She walks on her harness, but sometimes you've got to control her. So she's going to need a little bit of training. But she's got a sweet disposition and a sweet personality. And she loves, uh, she loves people, she loves attention, and that's typical of a lab. Uh, she's got gorgeous markings on her, and she really just needs to go to a household that is going to give her a lot of uh, training and a lot of attention and play with her and give her some exercise. And then I think she'll just turn into a wonderful, wonderful playmate. Uh, so we're hoping that you come and take a look at her and see if she fits your, your home so that she can get her forever home, because she deserves it. This is Bonnie. She is a six-year-old hound shepherd mix which is a lovely mix because she is a really pretty girl she's a gentle creature gentle soul very sweet uh sort of quiet a little bit at first and then she warms up and yeah she's just a really really sweet dog she does seem to get along with other dogs although it did say on her record that maybe she should be the on her own but i have seen her interact with other dogs and she just kind of visit her own little world she has shown no signs of aggression towards them She's just, you know, a quiet, quiet little gal. Um, she likes people. Um, she takes a little while to warm up sometimes, but she does like people. Um, I don't know how she is with children. Um, but yeah, she's just a really, really nice dog. She's full grown being six. And so uh, she just needs to gain maybe a little bit of weight. But yeah, this is this is the final look. beautiful girls with her light brown eyes. She is a three-year-old hound mix, female, and she has got a lot of energy. She has been adopted in return because she's got a couple of challenges. One of her challenges is that she can get over a six-foot fence. She's very resourceful if she's left alone. The mm -hmm. other is that she really doesn't like little dogs. She is kenneled right now with Rex, who's a male, medium-sized dog, and they play beautifully together and are great in the kennel together. But um, little dogs uh, are not her, her cup of tea. She is uh, very good on a walk. She likes to walk, and she likes to play and chase balls. She has a little bit of attention deficit, so we have to uh, get some training for her because she needs to get a little bit of obedience training. But um, she's just a gorgeous animal, and she's just very friendly. She loves people. She loves to be played with. And she, uh, she just needs a home with somebody, probably older children that would play with her. She would have a great time. 
She'd be great hiking on trails because she does have a lot of energy. So we're hoping that you come and check her out because she really does deserve to go home to a good home. She's a very, very sweet, sweet girl and needs a good family to love her. little Buddy. Buddy is a one-year-old corgi mix that came to us as a stray uh, November 21st. Um, he is very timid at first with new people, but once he gets to know you, he is really a sweetheart. He loves attention. He's got high energy. He loves to run around and, and play in the courtyard. He's actually kenneled with a uh, a fat female chihuahua named Sugar, and they curl up on the bed together, so he gets along with other dogs. There have been as many as three dogs with him in the kennel, and he's been really good with all of them. He loves to go up to the park and just run his, till his heart's content, uh, chasing dogs around and chasing balls around, and he is, uh, he's just a sweet, sweet boy, but he's gonna need some confidence because he probably had a troubled first year but he's just, uh, he's really, really very, very sweet. And we're just hoping that he's a tiny guy, as you can see, he's not a big dog. And he's full, gonna be full grown. He's not gonna get any bigger than this. And we're just hoping that somebody will come and, and wanna love him because once he gets to know you, he will, uh, he'll be an absolute sweetheart. So please come check him out. Right, mister? Yes. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Humane Society of Sedona. Your local Taco Bell invites you to Live Moss. There are now three varieties of Doritos Locos Tacos at Taco Bell. Nacho Cheese, Cool Ranch, and the new Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on the corner of Highway 89A and Cove Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell, live moss. Hi, I'm Paul, proud owner of High Desert Pest and Weed Control, with a sincere thank you for voting as number one three years in a row. Congratulations, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, High Desert Pest and Weed Control offer 100% guaranteed positive results. So if you're fed up dealing with spiders, scorpions, roaches, and other pests, rely on a company that's been serving Sedona and the Verde Valley since 1998. Call Mr. Paul at 639-4444. That's 639-4444. Camp Verde Eye Care has moved, but not too far, just a few doors from where they were in the Outpost Mall. It's the same expert service from Dr. Jack Houston and his knowledgeable staff in their terrific new surroundings. Since 1976, Camp Verde Eye Care has been helping residents of the Verde Valley to see more clearly. Call for an appointment or visit them online at cv-icare.com. They're still in the Basha Shopping Center and have a beautiful new facility. Camp Verde Eye Care accepts care credit. gentle kitty very playful um, and very busy very active so he would probably suit any sort of home he's four years old and he is medium hair which means his hair is a little bit longer than the short hair but not quite as long as a long hair um, but he is quite fluffy and he's got this beautiful fluffy tail and I think he's going to be great for any any sort of family possibly not very very young children it says on his record uh, a mature home is preferred. It's possible that he came from a mature home, so I guess that would be a good fit. But he seems a really gentle, sweet soul, so I, th I think pretty much anybody. If you like, uh, if you like his face, please come and uh, meet him. <laughs> beautifully 
spectacular kitty is called Leo. He has some sort of pedigree, I think. It doesn't really say in his record, but uh, I think he must be some sort of rag doll, perhaps, or a flame point. Um, he has got this very gorgeous sort of flattish face and blue eyes and this spectacular um, long hair, just kind of whitey cream. He's got really big paws and he's just a very gentle soul. He was a little bit shy when he first came to us, but he, he is warming up. And I think just a really quiet home away from any sort of chaos or noise. And he'll just kind of sit around and look beautiful because that's what he is. You're just a gorgeous boy. Yes, you are. This is Luna. She's a black short-haired kitty and she is four years old. She's quite plump. She's been very, very well cared for um, and I think she'd sort, uh, suit any sort of ho home, not least because she's outgoing and she's very confident and yeah, I think she's just a great, great cat. Um, she's lived with other kitties so she's got a, a very adaptable personality, I think. Tyler, he's a four-year-old gold and white medium-haired kitty with very big paws and his fur is super, super, super soft. He has the most incredible mellow personality and he's pairing up a storm right now. He was found wandering with his brother Boston and the per very kind person picked them both up and brought them together. So they're obviously really quite bonded. They're now sharing a cottage together. And we think probably Boston and Tyler are a similar age. So we think they're both going to be four years old. And he would suit any sort of home because of his mellow personality. He takes very easily to strangers and sits on my lap. And I think that any sort of home would be, would be great. Uh, possibly even one with, with, with dogs, with uh, cat friendly dogs. So yeah, come and check him out. He really is awesome. He's got the most beautiful face. <laughs> She lost her human and somebody brought her to the shelter. She's a very sweet girl, a little bit shy, but she just uh, warms up after a while. She's seven years old, but that's young for a kitty. And she's got this beautiful fur. She's tabby, but she's got these beautiful splashes of gold on her. She really is quite uh, exotic looking. She's very gentle, and I imagine she'd make a very good lap cat. She's probably more suited to a home that is very quiet, without children, with other dogs or kitties, but she would make a really great companion. She's very sweet, very loving, very trusting. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Humane Society of Sedona. Hi, I'm Paul, proud owner of High Desert Pest and Weed Control, with a sincere thank you for voting as number one. 
three years in a row. Congratulations, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, High Desert Pest and Weed Control offer 100% guaranteed positive results. So if you're fed up dealing with spiders, scorpions, roaches, and other pests, rely on a company that's been serving Sedona and the Verde Valley since 1998. Call Mr. Paul at 639-4444. That's 639-4444. This is Gravy. She is a silver and white, and she is a little bit round, but very, very cuddly and super soft fur. She's four years old. And she has lived with cats and dogs in a mature home, which probably means that there weren't any kids in the home. She is a really, really nice kitty. And uh, she looks a bit active, but I think she'd probably be okay as a lap cat. Uh, So I would say pretty much any sort of home would probably suit her. She's not too shy. So yeah, she's pretty and very soft. This is Tillman. He loves to be petted and he's a very sweet boy. He's only one year old, so he's actually quite big. He um, hasn't long left his kitten stage, so he's probably very playful. He's black and it's likely that he gets along well with other kitties. He came as a stray, so we're not exactly sure of his background, but I think he'd be pretty adaptable to any sort of background any sort of household simply because he's just so very young and he's a little bit frightened at first but he warms up very quickly he's actually quite relaxed now and when he does meow oh boy he has got a very very big voice aren't you yeah when he's purring now he's a very contented little boy aren't you fancy that gone from wailing to purring in just a few minutes Darby Crash. I have no idea why he was named that, but that's his name. It can be changed. I don't think he particularly knows it. He's only a young boy. He's only seven to eight months old. So he's going to be very adaptable in any sort of home. And he is a Maine Coon, which makes him this very handsome, long haired guy. And he's got this huge fluffy tail and just the really gentlest of natures. Um, And he'll be playful too. So he's going to be fun and he's going to be a great addition to any sort of home. I don't know if he likes dogs, um, so he'd have to be um, carefully introduced, um, but he, I would imagine he's pretty adaptable, being a very young uh, kitty. She is a three-month-old grey kitten or silver kitten. She is really sweet. She's playful, but she's also very gentle, and she's quite happy to sit on my lap. So she may be ending up going to be ending up a lap cat. Who knows? She came in with other siblings, and yeah, she's a very, very adaptable kitty, I imagine. So I think any sort of home would be fine. Um, yeah and then she can grow up and um, yeah, I think she's gonna be a really nice kitty, aren't you? She's very gentle, but I saw her really playing earlier. So you can be quite active. With young kittens, they can be very, very active and then they go real passive and quiet and then they're active again. So they go kind of in cycles. So it's, it's worth bearing in mind if you're considering a kitten, 
that they're going to have some real active moments during the day, sometimes at night. It's also quite a good idea to get two kittens um, because then they can play with each other. And she comes with a, with a, a sibling, there's a sibling called Tyrone, that she's, uh, she's in with at the moment in her cottage. <laughs> After the break, we'll visit with the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing, all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. Your local Taco Bell invites you to live moss. There are now three varieties of Doritos Locos Tacos at Taco Bell. Nacho Cheese, Cool Ranch, and the new Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on the corner of Highway 89A and Cove Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell, live moss. The Adopt for Life Center for Animals is located on Mingus Avenue in Cottonwood, open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 3. They offer many adoptable dogs and cats. Volunteers are always needed in local rescues and animal shelters. Ask to speak with the volunteer coordinator. Visit the Adopt for Life Center for Animals online or in person for more information about adopting a new pet. This beautiful little girl is called Sammy. Sammy is about a one to two year old pit bull mix. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's got this fawn coat and these beautiful green eyes. And she's very, very loving with human beings. Not so fond of other dogs. And she doesn't have a whole lot of manners. She's kind of hard to walk. But um, she's been here for quite some time with us now and we're trying to find an adoption uh, home for her. She's high energy, but she's very, very sweet. I mean, she's just one of the sweetest girls we have around here. She just doesn't care for other dogs. Now, that might be something, she's young enough, it could be overcome if people want to take the time to train her. This environment's so hard because her cage is one of those that we walk all the dogs past, and a lot of the dogs get excited and they show an aggressive behavior behind there, but once they get out, they're really not all that bad. So I'm not sure how she's going to be, but Sammy. But all in all, she's just really a good girl. I mean, as you can see, she's very easy going here. But um, she's going to need a yard because uh, she's high activity level. And like I say, when she goes on her walk, she pulls like a freight train. For a little girl, she's got a whole lot of strength. But uh, I think she'd probably be okay with kids. Like I say, she's just really good with all people. So I don't know that she'd be a problem with kids. But she's probably going to have to be the only pet in the home. Um, and I think that's her biggest drawback. Um, and as I say, probably she, the reason she's been here is that she doesn't show very well in the cage. She, um, when other dogs walk past, she gets pretty active and that kind of turns people off. But all in all, she's just a sweet girl and I think she'd make a wonderful pet for someone if you've got a yard and you've got some time to train her. She's going to need some training. She's very, very smart. Um, so that won't be a problem. It, the problem is going to be giving her enough activity and spending some time with her so she can learn how to do things right, learn some manners. She's just a little short on manners, but otherwise she's a really a good girl. And this is Sammy.
This beautiful girl is Tabitha. Tabitha is somewhere between one and two, female, obviously. Um, brown with some beautiful white paws and white markings down her chest. Tabitha is uh, kind of a celebrity now. She was one of our six dogs that we walked in the Christmas parade. So she's had lots of exposure, but no one knew who she was. And so we thought we'd let everybody know who she was today so they can say, oh, I saw that beautiful brown dog in the parade. And if you did, that was this girl, Tabitha. Tabitha is pretty good with other animals. Obviously, we had her with five other dogs there in the parade, and she got along fine with them all. Um, she's got a limit. She gets a little frustrated sometimes with some of them, and she'll just kind of, you know, give them a little growl and let them know, I'm tired of you, go away, leave me alone. But she's not overly aggressive toward animals. She'd be fine. If they leave her alone, she's probably going to leave them alone. Um, she's very well behaved in the leash. She walks beautifully. And as you can see, she's just a little sweetheart. Um, everybody loves Tabitha, and I'm not quite sure why she hasn't been adopted yet, but she's been here for probably three or four months now, and doesn't, just doesn't seem to be drawing the attention that she should be getting. So that's why we got her on here today. She's not overly active. I mean, she likes to run. If you have a yard, that would be perfect, but I don't see that as being an absolute mandate for her. I think she could get along uh, living uh, without a yard as long as she got her walks. I mean, she's going to need some exercise, right? Lots of exercise. Lots, gotta have her exercise and um, she'd be great with kids. She's just got that real sweet disposition toward her. Yeah, I got another treat. Yeah. And uh, so I think she'd be good for a family. Um, she's young enough yet that she can still learn things, although she's, you know, she's pretty good. Like I say, she's got manners. A lot of the dogs have no manners. She's got a pretty good manner set to her. So she'd blend in very, very well with somebody. So. This is Tabitha, this beautiful little girl. Have a kiss. Kiss the yeah, Thanks, you kisses. Yeah. Okay, this girl here is a two year old. We have one to two year old pit bull mix, and her name is Purdy. Purdy is a beautiful brindle, round eyed girl, a couple of little white markings on her. Uh, <laughs> kind of joking on her treat right now. She's very treat motivated, and that's what we're seeing going on right here. Oh, Purdy. Anyway, Purdy's a good girl, loves her humans, loves to give kisses, loves to jump up on you, loves to bang into you. Um, she's very friendly, um, not too bad with other dogs, but I think you'd have to be very, very slow in doing an introduction. Quite honestly, I think, you know, she'd probably be better off being the only animal in the home. But, you know, given time, if you had another pet and you really liked her and you wanted to give her a home, I think if you just took your time with them and introduced them, I think she's very capable of becoming friends with another animal. Um, it's not the best choice, but if you know, I meant her getting adopted, I think it'd be worth a try. She is going to have to have a yard. You're probably not going to have enough energy to burn her out or get rid of the energy she has. So she's going to have to have a yard where she can run and get rid of some of the high intensity that she's got in her. Um, I wouldn't recommend small kids, again, just because, not because of her temperament, um, just because she's so crazy. She, you know, she'll see them and she'll want to go see them and she'll just run and bang right into them and knock them over probably. So I don't think that's a good idea for her right now. But other than that, she's just a beautiful girl. Big kiss. Can I have a kiss, Purdy? Hey, can I have a kiss? Thank you for kisses. Yeah. Anyway, that's my girl, Purdy. Two-year-old, brindle, female, pit. Okay, this beautiful little girl is Pima. Pima is a pit bull mix, as you can probably see. And I know a lot of people don't care much for pit bulls, and understandably so. But there are good ones, and there's ones that aren't so good. This happens to be one of the real good ones. Uh, Pima's about two years old. 
She was a stray found up in the Camp Verde area. She's kind of a blackish brindle. If you look at her close, you can see the brindle coloring underneath that black part. Um, and then she's got her white markings and everything. Pima's a really, really good girl. She's very calm, not excitable, not a, doesn't show any aggression toward other animals that I've seen so far. And um, on her walks, she's pretty calm. If she does pull, just a little, little tug correction on her and she straightens right up for you. And um, uh, she's just got that temperament to her that I think she'd get along probably in any kind of a situation. She's, um, she'd probably be great with kids because she's a real lover, kind of a sweetheart. She likes to lean and cuddle. Yes, she likes to lean and cuddle. So um, she'd need some exercise because she's, I guess, again, about two years old. So she's still a little bit of pup in her there. So it's just some walks or even a fenced yard that would be really great. That's what she'd probably like. And she's not a barker at all. She's kind of really quiet. She just kind of sits in her cage here and just looks at you and says, is it my turn to go out for a walk today or what's going on with it? So anyway, this little girl, Pima, wonderful pet, deserves a chance for a home. <laughs>
people just love her. That's all she wants is just to be loved. So again, this is Truffles. What a pretty girl she is. beautiful little girl is Diamond. Diamond, as you can see, has a little bit of a Staffordshire Terrier mix in her. She's really, really a wonderful girl. She loves people, loves to give big sloppy kisses. Can I give a sloppy kiss? Not yet, okay. And um, as I say, she just loves people. Not so much other animals. She's, I think she may have been one of those that they had in mind as a breeder. Um, she's extremely powerful. Her muscle tone is amazing. So it makes me believe that whoever had her at first was kind of looking at her as being a, a breeder for some other pit bulls. But um, I think with some socialization she might do all right. But at first I really would suggest that she be the only, only animal, only pet in the, in the home. Um, as I say, she's very gentle with people. So I wouldn't have any concerns with her as far as being around children and everything. In fact, I think she'd love it. She loves to play. She's a high activity kind of a girl. And um, so I think it would just be a good situation for her to be in a home where she was the main focus of attention. She would need a yard to run around in. Um, she is, uh, as I say, very active. Uh, she needs lots and lots of exercise. Out on the road when we take our walk, she's very easy to walk. Um, she doesn't pull at all. She, hey, look up, look up. She doesn't pull, she um, just follows right along. When she gets closer to the shelter, she pulls because I think she sees it as home, but I think she'd much rather be in a real home where people could be there to love her all the time, right? Kiss, kiss, good kiss. Okay, this is Baron. Baron is a two-year-old healer mix. He's male, obviously. Um, really great guy, and we really would like to get Baron adopted because Baron has been here since July. And the only reason he's not adopted, I believe, is he's a maniac in the cage. This guy is like a living pogo stick. He can jump straight up so high in the cage that you can see his entire body over the dividers we've got. So if you're going to take Baron, you're going to have to have a very, very, very high fence, something that he can't jump over, um, or at least something that he can't get his paws into if he wants to try to climb. So he's going to be kind of difficult from that aspect. But in terms of an animal, he's really a good guy. I mean, he walks beautifully. Um, he's just high energy. If you look at him, I want to tell everybody, we don't starve our dogs. Baron gets as much to eat as anybody else does, and even more. But he's just one of those dogs that just, he's got a high metabolism rate. He's just a go, go, go kind of a guy. And so he doesn't put on any weight. So I, And he may have some other you know, thin breed like a, a, a whippet or a miniature greyhound or something like that in him. I don't know because he's been this way since we've had him here and he's been here since July and we really need to find him a home. And as I say, other than his activity level, he's a sweetheart. He gets along with other dogs. He's, he's a just really an easygoing guy. He's just, <laughs> he's just a clown. He's just an absolute clown. He's just likes to jump and run and play and just all full of excitement. So that's a good sit. Here you go. Here's a good treat for you for sitting. Um, he'd be very good with kids. Again, really good temperament to him. A real lover. Um, yeah, you're a lover. Yes, you are. I said that. And uh, he really needs a yard, but as I say, it's going to have to be 
a pretty high fence, you know, a good secure yard would work for them. Um, a normal four foot or five foot fence, I don't think is going to do it because he can probably take that without ever touching it. So anyway, this is Baron. Beautiful markings, brown and black, and there's, he actually, oh, it's on the other side here, there's a little patch of brown over here on the other side too. And there's some brown in his ears as well, but um, just a really beautiful guy, got a great disposition, great temperament, um, just a high activity level. As you can see, sitting down is not his strength. <laughs> not your strength, you wanna go, go, go. And that's Baron. <music> This girl here is Star. Star is a one-year-old, maybe a little older than one, one and a half maybe. Um, she's some sort of a terrier pit mix. I don't know, you know, it looks like she's got some pit in her, but you know, she's just, you know, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say she's a pit. I think she's more of a terrier mix of some sort, but I don't want to deceive people either, so there might be some pit in her. She's a really good girl, highly active. One of her problems, she's been here for a while now, probably about three months, and I think one of the reasons she doesn't get adopted is not because of her personality, because she's got a great personality. I just think it's her activity level. She's just so crazy in the cage that people look at her and they kind of get scared away and say, oh, I don't think I want her. She's too, too wild for me. But as you see, she's not all that wild. She's really a pretty good girl uh, once you get her out of the cage. She pulls a little bit on her leash, um, can use a little bit of work there, but all in all, I mean, she's a friendly girl, um, likes to give kisses, and all of a sudden she's decided there's something down there she wants. <laughs> Come here. Turn around. Camera's over here. There you go. So, um, a family would work for her. I think she'd be good with kids, but it's going to have to be an active family. If she had a fenced-in yard where she could burn off some of her energy, that would make things even better. I think once you get rid of the energy level, um, she's really a sweet girl and she'd be, you know, wonderful as a family pet. But you got to get the exercise in there because she, this is a dog that will not be happy being confined and not having a lot of room to run or a lot of time out with her family or friends or whatever. So if you're going to think about her, if you're an active family, I think it'll work. If you're looking for a, a couch potato dog, this is not your animal here. Anyway, again, her name is Star, one year old, maybe a little older, kind of a terrier pit mix, very friendly girl, needs a home pretty bad. She's been here about three or four months now, and we really need to find a home for her. So that's Star. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing, all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. Hi, I'm Paul, proud owner of High Desert Pest and Weed Control, with a sincere thank you for voting as number one three years in a row. Congratulations, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, High Desert Pest and Weed Control offer 100% guaranteed positive results. So if you're fed up dealing with spiders, scorpions, roaches, and other pests, rely on a company that's been serving Sedona and the Verde Valley since 1998. Call Mr. Paul at 639-4444. That's 639-4444. The 
This is Freddie, about a five-year-old older gentleman, male, neutered, black and white. He's highly friendly. He loves other cats. He definitely loves people. He would like to follow you around all day and be your best friend forever. Freddie is probably fine with small children, although we haven't tested him. And he's definitely great with other cats. Again, Freddie, five-year-old, male, neutered, black and white, very friendly, looking for his forever home, although I, hopefully not up there. <laughs>